would you take her in if she came to you and said, I have nowhere else to go? I'm worried about my safety. I need someone that cares about me to take care of me. Yes, I, I got involved in this case uh, and volunteered my time because I believed in the case. I saw the report. I saw the science or lack of science. And as I got to know this young woman, if she came to me and she needed help and she was concerned for her safety, yes. Now what's going to be interesting, Robin, is I think you're going to see a lot of people trying to figure out where Casey goes. I don't think we're ever going to know for sure, at least for a little bit of time, because right now there is so much attention on Casey that she's just trying to make sure she goes somewhere where she can get a little bit of privacy. Now Casey isn't exactly broke either. This is fascinating, Dad. She's been allowed to accept money from people who are sending her money. That's right. Mostly men. A lot of men sending her money in jail. This has been going on for at least over a year where people have sent her money over time. And why do they send her money? Well, she can buy things from the jail commissary. And she's bought everything from makeup to nachos and dip. All that's available at the commissary. So she uses that money for that. So uh, since she was acquitted, at least 17 people have sent her money. And she spent so much money while she's in jail that at one point she was overdrawn, but now she's got about 470 bucks with her, and as soon as she gets out of jail, she takes that money with her out of the jail. So at least she's got something uh, when she gets out. All right, Ryan, thank you so much. And we're going to hear more about Casey's, uh, Casey's release from jail in about 10 minutes.